just saw is me walking to my car. I'm about to be driven to the Cambodia-Thailand border. Why am I going to the Cambodia-Thailand border from Bangkok? Well, I've been here for over 30 days in Bangkok. My visa is expiring. The information that we received from a third party was, go there, get your passport signed. You have another 45 days here. But what really ended up happening is that this trip became a case study and the importance of a personal brand. Okay, so we get to Cambodia, right on the border, Cambodia and Thailand. We use a sketchy service to give us VIP access through to get our passport stamped. We pay and they do exactly that. However, these guys knew that we wouldn't be able to get back into Thailand the same day being that the rules had changed, but they didn't care, they want their money. I guess in some respects, can't knock the hustle. We should have known better. We go to Cambodia, get our passport stamped. We go back into Thailand. Thailand says, you cannot come back in. Well, why can't we come back in? Because you need to spend at least a day in Cambodia. Now we're in the border, we're not in the city. Like we're on the border town, there is nothing there. I am not spending a night in Cambodia, no offense. So I let my aggravation be known and I let them know that I had no idea that this is exactly what was supposed to be done. I got third party information. This is my first time even in Thailand. I'm a very important person. I'm a high roller. I don't do border runs. I would have flown a private jet to Malaysia. There's no way I would be, you know, doing this stuff, right? I wouldn't um, put myself in this position. Here's what happens. Here is the major point. I told them who I was, and they said, well, if I let you in, then I gotta let every foreigner in. And I told them, I ain't every foreigner. I'm Marshall Wilkinson. I'm the CEO of ALP. And I've done two and a half billion dollars in deals in New York. I am not like a vegan backpacking reject from America. I have my limousine, which is a chauffeured 750 BMW on the other side of this wall waiting for me right now to bring me back to my five-star hotel. She doesn't believe me. I say, Google me. She eh, doesn't like pushes back a little bit. I go, listen, I do the whole thing over again. Google me. She goes, okay, pull out your phone. Let me see who you are. Punch my name into Google. Long story short, she goes, all right. She goes back to talk to somebody, comes to me, she goes, you can go. Says to my friend, Sorry, but you gotta stay in Cambodia for a day. Now, my friend is okay with it because he felt bad for me possibly having to even stay in Cambodia a night, knowing that we weren't expecting this. And I had dinner plans that night. He had to stay, I was able to go, all because the power of a personal brand. Building a personal brand is not just about followers, it's not just about getting leads. Getting attention is getting attention, period for leads and new customers and new recruits, building your brand so people wanna work with you. And when you get stuck at the Cambodia-Thailand border and you got a bit of celebrity and you can prove it, they'll let you throw. Build your brand.